Nelson Mandela Bay residents woke up to the news of a new mayor after lengthy deliberations. DA councillor Ngaba Banga was elected following a series of adjournments for various reasons. At first, the meeting was adjourned after council members allegedly started coughing, saying they feared COVID. It was then adjourned when the speaker was suddenly removed from the chambers by what appeared to be security personnel. Despite the unavailability of a speaker and the city manager refusing to preside, the mayor was elected. They must all go to court. Um, the city manager presided over the election of an extinct speaker. The Municipal Systems Act states it very clear that when there is a quorum in a meeting, um, councillors can elect a speaker. We elected Councillor Marlon Daniel. He presided over this, uh, this meeting. This meeting is illegal. It's legal. Um, and uh, anybody who wants to challenge it, which is the ANC, they must go to court. We're ready to, uh, uh, as a city for them and we are going to make sure that we dispose that. Councillor Daniels is adamant that the quorum was met as 65 councillors were present. And everything else, just a delaying tactic to get the metro under administration. Yesterday was the last day that we had. It was a deadline. To, to prevent 139 from coming. So, therefore, they were helping. They just needed to get over the hurdle of yesterday so that on Monday when the, when the residents wake up, we'll be under administration. But a grey area in the appointment of the new mayor remains. The guiding legislation says that uh, a, the, who must preside over a council meeting should be the speaker, failing which the municipal manager. And in the event that both of them cannot do so, the MEC is authorized to send somebody who can preside over the meeting. Now, I don't think that the courts, should this be taken uh, to court, will only limit themselves to those provisions. I think that it may be that circumstantial uh, evidence get to be taken into consideration here. Ndimga has applauded efforts by the councillors to get the municipality back to order. He says, although there may be challenges, but the court order has been honoured. Attempts to reach the ANC have been unsuccessful. Anda Ngonji, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.